Good Friday evening, Southeast Texas. It looks like uh, we're going to get a couple more days of fairly comfortable conditions in the afternoon, meaning the moisture humidity will be fairly low. That all changes Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. We get a surge of moisture coming in off the Gulf of Mexico Monday. And as you can see, it's going to feel humid and muggy across the area. As far as rainfall, it looks like our best chances will come in Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday of next week and uh, maybe a few showers coming up on Monday. But the amount of rainfall is not that impressive, uh, maybe a half an inch to an inch and a half. So uh, nothing as far as any flooding expected uh, this go round. Unfortunately for you allergy sufferers, uh, you are dealing with high levels of ragweed this afternoon. And in the upper levels of the atmosphere, we're currently watching low pressure over towards the Baja. That will take its time uh, moving our way. We'll see a ridge of high pressure build over our area Sunday, keeping us dry through the weekend. Then as we work on into Monday into Tuesday, we'll see this southwesterly wind flow and disturbances will likely rotate in uh, around that uh, low as it will be moving into northern New Mexico and Colorado and uh, quite a bit of moisture streaming in off the Gulf of Mexico. This is not rainfall, but you have to have a moist atmosphere for showers and storms to develop within that moist atmosphere. So the cat, the um, Elements are coming together to give us uh, higher rain chances or at least rain chances in the forecast Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday of next week. Hurricane Sam winds at 85 miles an hour uh, is rapidly intensifying and this is going to be a monster storm. Unfortunately, still moving west at 12 miles an hour and it has look at that it has gusts to 105 miles an hour. Uh, the trend for the uh, modeling is that this does not reach the Gulf of Mexico and in fact turns towards the north. Uh, Bermuda will really have to watch this. Otherwise, the uh, forecast from uh, the Hurricane Center shows this uh, becoming a Cat 3 coming up tomorrow and then a Cat 4 on Sunday. And hopefully it just misses the Leeward Islands and the U.S. Virgin Islands and stays north of them, but uh, certainly a Cat 3 territory there. Otherwise, tonight looking at a quiet night, it'll be a cool night as temperatures drop into the mid 50s in the lakes and the mid 50s to lower 60s in the triangle tomorrow. Lots of sun, still not bad. We'll see uh, east and uh, southeast winds with uh, high temperatures in the mid 80s across the area on the Gulf of Mexico. Mostly smooth seas around a foot. Good boating conditions tomorrow. We'll see northeasterly winds at 5 to 10 knots. Our forecast tonight mostly clear. Should be a great evening across the area to get outside. We'll fall into the mid to upper 50s and lower 60s, so you'll need jackets in the morning. Uh, you want in the afternoon with lots of sun, highs mid 80s. Uh, weekend forecast looks good. Warming temperatures though, higher humidity, but not oppressive Sunday, so still fairly comfortable. Monday, that moisture really surges in. I'll give it a 20, maybe 30% coverage. It looks like light stuff, high of 87. Then Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. That's going to be our best chances of rain and thunderstorm activity. I'm going conservative. It could be more than what I have, but as you saw, an inch. Maybe, maybe two. Otherwise, as that low that's over New Mexico and Colorado ejects northwards into Wyoming and the Dakotas, that takes it away from our area. So we get a little bit of capping, the lack of uh, mo lack of um, instability. I'll drop rain chances Friday to a 20% coverage. Download our app. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. And as always, there's more weather at 12newsnow.com.